Welcome to NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide. Visit nzpocketguide.com for thousands of tips, hidden gems, and ways to plan the perfect trip in New Zealand. This is a readout of an article available for free on the website. Check out the link in the description and let's get started. 10 Best Walks in Auckland Short walks and day hikes in Auckland Stretch your legs and enjoy the great outdoors of Auckland. Whether you're in the city center or looking to escape to nature, we've listed the best walks in Auckland to inspire your next outing. Choose from a range of short walks to day hikes in Auckland using this list with something to suit all fitness levels. For more Auckland talk, head over to the complete travel guide to Auckland on nzpocketguide.com. 1. Coast to Coast Walkway, 4 hours one way. See the highlights of Auckland City on the Coast to Coast Walkway. Walk 16 kilometers, 9.9 miles, between Waitemata to Manukau passing some of the city's iconic heritage buildings, as well as through the Auckland Domain and the volcanic cones of Mount Eden and One Tree Hill. It's the ultimate day out for those staying in the city center. Once you've finished the walk, you can always take one of the city buses back to the city center. This walk also features in the top 50 North Island walks. Location, a popular place to start is from Viaduct Basin, 99 Custom Street West, Auckland Central. 2. Tehinga Walkway, 3H 20 Mins One Way. Another long one that can be split into smaller sections, the Tehinga Walkway takes hikers along the rugged west coast from Tehinga, Bethel's Beach, to Muriwai Beach. Either walk a 1H 20 min section from Bethel's Road to O'Neill Bay and back along Bethel's Beach or continue all the way to Moriwai for the full 3H 20 min's walk. Opposite the start of the Tehinga walkway from Bethel's Beach is the car park for the Lake Wainamal Walk, 1H 30 min's loop, which is another worthwhile walk in Auckland. Location, signposted by a bridge about 1 km, 0.6 miles, from the end of Bethel's Road approximately 37 kilometers, 23 miles, from Auckland Central. 3. Mangaika slash North Head Historic Walk, 1 hour loop. Either drive or take the ferry from downtown Auckland to reach this historic site with walking trails in Auckland. North Head, Mangaika, was established with a series of tunnels, gun batteries, barracks and more to protect the area from feared Russian invasions from the 1870s and through to World War II. There are several short loop tracks around North Head, on top of the hill, as well as along the beaches at the base. Location, Takarunga Road, Devonport, approximately 16 kilometers, 9.9 miles from Auckland Central. 4. Rangi Toto Island Summit Track, one hour one way a must do walk to one of Auckland's outer islands. The Rangi Toto Island Summit Track takes hikers through New Zealand's largest Portutukawa forest alive with birdsong. Another highlight is the lava fields from this volcano that's more than 600 years old. Take a 15-minute one-way side trip to the lava caves to walk and climb through. The top of the summit track has a lookout over the crater, as well as out to the Hauraki Gulf and Auckland skyline. Learn more about visiting Rani Toto in the guide to Rani Toto Island and Motutapu Island in nzpocketguide.com. Location, Rani Toto Wharf. Either a 25-minute ferry ride from Queen's Wharf, 89 Key Street, or a two-hour paddle by kayak from Devonport or Takapuna Beach. 5. Hunua Falls Path, 15 minutes loop. A popular short walk in the Hunua Ranges, the Hunua Falls Path takes you from the Wairoa River through native forests to a lookout of the waterfall. You can then ramble down to the base of the falls for more angles to enjoy. Along the Hunua Falls Path is the start of the Hunua Kosi Dam Path, 1H 30 minutes one way, should you feel like a longer journey through the forest. Location, 233 Falls Road, Hunua, approximately 49 kilometers, 30.4 miles, from Auckland Central. 6. Farm Loop Walk, Duda Regional Park, 2H 30 minutes return. Get the perfect mix of coastline, beaches, Kiwi farmland and Māori historical sites on the Farm Loop Walk. The main walk of the Duda Regional Park, the track offers excellent vantage points, as well as a side track to Whakakaifara Park, the site of an old Māori fortified village. Location, 
corner of North Road and Maritai Coast Road, approximately 50 kilometers, 31 miles from Auckland Central. 7. Mongataoro Tehikoi, Wendahome Regional Park, 11H30 Min's Return. There are lots of landscape features to take in on the Mongataoro Tehikoi Walk in the Wendahome Regional Park. Walk over land between the mouths of two rivers where tracks of forest, beautiful gardens at Kudri House, Te Akeake Sandspit and more can be admired. The easy-going trails are suitable for most fitness levels. 8. Turi Turi Track, Shakespeare Regional Park, 2 hours loop. Another regional park highlight, the Turi Turi Park is a loop walk with forest, cliff tops and three different lookouts. Follow the red markers through farmland and up a steep hill with rewarding views across Teharuhi Bay. You'll continue along the coast before reaching your next lookout of the Auckland skyline, Rangitoto Island and more. The walk finishes at Teharuhi Bay which is safe for swimming. Location, Bruce Harvey Drive, Army Bay, Whangaparaua, approximately 51 kilometers, 31.7 miles from Auckland Central. Location, Shishka Road. Waiwera, approximately 46 kilometers, 28.5 miles from Auckland Central. 9. Auckland Domain Walks, 20 minutes or more even in the heart of the city, you can find some fantastic bush walks, like the Lovers Walk with native bush and attractive streams and cascades. The 500 meters, 547 yard, path runs parallel to the Centennial Walkway, another walk from Grafton Mews to the Domain's central duck pond. You can also take the Domain Walk from the Parnell Entrance or Lower Domain Drive through Native Bush. Location, there are several entrances to the Auckland Domain but 20 Park Road, Grafton, is the most popular. 10. Kite Kite Falls Path, 1 Hour Return Behind the surf beaches and village of Pia, Kite Kite Falls is a stunning natural feature along the Kite Kite Falls Path. Enjoy a forest walk along the gravel path and boardwalks. The walk has a bit of a gradual climb and features two shallow stream crossings near the waterfall. Be sure to use the Kauri Dieback cleaning stations to protect the forest. Location, 105 Glen S Road, Pier, approximately 38 kilometers, 23.6 miles from Auckland Central. That's it for this article. Hit like and subscribe to say thank you and remember, this article is available for free on nzpocketguide.com, check out the link in the description. Plus, there are thousands of articles for you to plan the perfect New Zealand holiday.